The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Once, when Peter and John were going up to the temple for the prayers at the ninth hour, it happened that there was a man being carried along. He was a cripple from birth, and they used to put him down every day near the temple entrance called the Beautiful Gate, so that he could beg from the people going in. When this man saw Peter and John on their way into the temple, he begged from them. Peter and John too looked straight at him and said, Look at us. He turned to them expectantly, hoping to get something from them. But Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but I will give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, walk. Then he took him by the right hand and helped him to stand up. Instantly, his feet and ankles became firm. He jumped up, stood, and began to walk. And he went with them into the temple, walking, jumping, and praising God. Everyone could see him walking and praising God. And they recognized him as the man who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. They were all astonished and perplexed at what had happened to him. And our response, comes from Psalm 105. Alleluia! Give thanks to Yahweh. Call on His name. Proclaim His deeds to the peoples. Sing to Him. Make music for Him. Recount all His wonders. Glory in His holy name. Let the hearts that seek Yahweh rejoice. Seek Yahweh and His strength. Tirelessly seek His presence. Stock of Abraham, His servant. Children of Jacob, whom He chose. He is Yahweh, our God. His judgments touch the whole world. He remembers His covenant forever, the promise He laid down for a thousand generations, which He concluded with Abraham, the oath He swore to Isaac. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Now that very same day, two of them were on their way to a village called Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem. And they were talking together about all that had happened. And it happened that as they were there talking together and discussing it, Jesus himself came up and walked by their side. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He said to them, What are all these things that you are discussing as you walk along? They stopped, their faces downcast. Then one of them, called Cleopas, answered him, You must be the only person staying in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have been happening there these last few days. He asked, What things? They answered, All about Jesus of Nazareth, who showed himself a prophet, powerful in action and speech before God and the whole people, and how our chief priest and our leaders handed him over to be sentenced to death and had him crucified. Our own hope had been that he would be the one to set Israel free. And this is not all. Two whole days have now gone by since it all happened. And some women from our group have astounded us. They went to the tomb in the early morning. And when they could not find the body, they came back to tell us they had seen a vision of angels who declared he was alive. Some of our friends went to the tomb and found everything exactly as the women had reported. But of him they saw nothing. Then he said to them, You foolish men, so slow to believe all that the prophets have said. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer before entering into his glory? Then, starting with Moses and going through all the prophets, he explained to them the passages throughout the scriptures that were about himself. When they drew near to the village to which they were going, he made as if to go on. But they pressed him to stay with them, saying, It is nearly evening, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. Now while he was with them at table, he took the bread, said the blessing. Then he broke it and handed it to them. And their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. But he had vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us as he talked to us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? 
they set out that instant and returned to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven assembled together with their companions who said to them, The Lord has indeed risen and has appeared to Simon. Then they told their story of what had happened on the road and how they had recognized him in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord.